Welcome to today's edition of Layoff and Employment News by Employment Boost. Today's date is Tuesday, September 26, 2023. If you are an individual affected by a layoff or if you are a company facing a reduction in force, click the link above now or in the description box below for more information about our firm's outplacement support services and how we can help you as an individual land on your feet faster and get into a new job as quickly as possible or as an organization, how we can smooth the layoff process and assist with your reduction in force. Now on to today's headlines. The D.C. area metro is warning that layoffs and a hiring freeze will come very soon if a looming budget deficit is not dealt with. Washington, D.C., Maryland, and Virginia all contribute money to keep metro up and running, but right now metro has a projected budget deficit of around $600 million for 2024. Metro officials have stated that they can trim another $345 million off the deficit by transferring funds for capital projects to improve the system, but have stated that it's not a good strategy and can lead to delays in service. Metro has estimated they need increases of 24 to 30% in funds from each state slash district for next year, and if not, layoffs will be coming to their workforce. Eagle Industries, Inc., a Wixom, Michigan-based automotive supplier, has announced that it might need to lay off approximately 55 to 60 employees impacting plant workers, production staff, and administrative employees. The company cited unforeseen business circumstances as the cause of the layoffs and that the estimated number of employees impacted is fluid to change. The president of the company, John Bull, said that the layoffs were directly tied to the UAW strike, and presumably if the strike is resolved soon, the layoffs at Equal will not take place. Finally, Lucid Software, a Salt Lake City-based tech company, has announced a 7% reduction in force, which will impact around 75 employees. CEO Dave Gross said in a letter to employees that the reductions span many groups within the company, but will not be equal in terms of impact. Some teams might also be merged in cases where the company thinks there are opportunities to run operations more efficiently. Additionally, in-person events and other company purchases will be limited to further cut costs. Departing employees will receive 10 weeks of severance pay, health care benefits through 2023, a laptop, and job support if they'd so choose.